assalamu alaikum students uh, the topic of today's lecture is measuring instrument in which we discuss about the stopwatch and a volume measuring instrument in which we discuss about the measuring cylinder so let's start our lecture stopwatch a stopwatch is used to measure a time interval of an event so by using this stopwatch we can uh, measure uh, time interval of any event for example uh, a student uh, is running when it starts run we start a stopwatch and when it end its race we just press a button and it will stop and it gives us the time how much time is uh, taken by the students to complete a certain task basically there are two types of stopwatches the first is the mechanical stopwatch which use uh, a dial and uh, a, a knob over it and the least count of stopwatch is 0.1 second remember least count means the minimum value that an instrument can measure so a mechanical stopwatch can measure uh, 0.1 second okay similarly there is another type of stopwatch which is called digital stopwatch now this digital stopwatch use a uh, uh, digital values and uh, it uses an electronic circuit instead of mechanical uh, gear it uses a electronic circuits to measure the time interval of an event and its least count is 0.01 means uh, one tenth uh, one hundredth of the second so it is more reliable than mechanical stopwatch now let's see how these uh, stopwatches work now a mechanical stopwatch has a knob that is used to wind a spring to power the watch you see there is a knob over here you can see in this figure that when we press this knob once time one time this stopwatch starts and uh, you can see this dial is moving uh, measuring the second now this uh, you can see 0 5 10 15 this shows the second and the small dial inside it shows the minutes so when it comes this uh, large needle complete one rotation this small needles move one point means one minute and then we uh, when we press this button this knob this uh, knob on the top of this uh, watch when we press it again it stops okay when it stops we can see uh, these needles still stand and we can measure the time interval of an event when pressed third time then it reset to zero both needles move towards the zero so this is how we can use this mechanical stopwatch again I am repeating this first stopwatch both needles are at zero when this start stop button which is on the top of this uh, stopwatch when you press, uh, press one time this needle starts moving and your uh, it counting your inter, uh, time interval now when pressed again means second time when press second time it stops the watch now when press third time after note down your time interval press it again and it resets and bring the needles back to zero this is how a mechanical stopwatch works now let's see how digital works uh, stopwatch works now digital stopwatch has two buttons this is called a reset button and this is called stop start stop button now you can see in this animation when this button is pressed one time it start uh, its timer and when pressed once again it stops the time and when we press this button it comes to zero no no you see we zero so this is how we can find a time interval of an event so the least count of a stopwatch is 0 0.01 second these stopwatches comes in different ranges uh, for example this particular stopwatch which is anime this you can see in this figure uh, 
it can only measure in seconds but this stopwatch which is in uh, black in color it can measure your time in minutes as well so uh, it come in different ranges now the next is volumetric volume measuring uh, instrument and we use uh, a measuring cylinder to measure the volume of a liquid of a powder substance or in regular shape of solid of insoluble in or this solid now you can see in this figure uh, these measuring cylinders comes in different ranges and a scale is marked on its stem or on its uh, body so this scale is in milliliters okay when you put any liquid in this uh, measuring cylinder uh, we can see a meniscus over there which can uh, gives you the value of its uh, volume for example in this particular figure the meniscus is at 60 so it mean that the this pink liquid has a volume of 60 milliliter you can see in this figure first of all you must place your uh, measuring cylinder on a smooth horizontal surface horizontal surface so that it does not uh, gives you the incorrect value now pour some water or any liquid on it which you want to measure uh, whose volume is to be measured so not the meniscus of the liquid now you can see if we see meniscus on the top or on the bottom side uh, then it is an incorrect way means see over here your eye side and the meniscus should be in line when they are in line then your reading is correct otherwise your reading will be uh, incorrect so remember this point uh, while taking a reading your eye must be in level with the meniscus of the liquid so correct method is to note the level of the liquid in the cylinder is to keep your eye at the same level as the meniscus of the liquid so this is a very important point while taking a reading in a measuring cylinder so this is how we can find uh, volume of any liquid now how you can we can find uh, the volume of a irregular shape solid so uh, first of all take some water in any measuring cylinder for example in this measuring cylinder we take water up to 20 milliliter okay now uh, note this reading as an initial volume so initial volume in this case is 20 milliliter as we can see now tie a solid with a thread those solid or any irregular shape with uh, uh, tie your irregular uh, body whose volume is to be measured with a, uh, any string now pour this uh, irregular shape in this liquid you see there is a rise in a level you can see this uh, there is a rise in the level of this liquid note down the final reading which is in this case is uh, 23 milliliter so now to find the volume you just subtract this final volume minus initial so there is a uh, there is a correction uh, this is not vf this is will be vf minus vi okay so this is how you can find the volume of the solid now if we find initial volume is 20 milliliter and final volume is 20 3 milliliter so 23 milliliter minus 20 milliliter is 3 milliliter so the volume of this solid is 3 milliliter this is how we can find uh, the volume of an irregular shape solid so uh, this is all about today's lecture thank you very much